Hi, this is Erin and I'm going to show you my most commonly used power supplies in Multisim. So Multisim has a very extensive library, which I guess um, there's some good and bad to it. A lot of times you, you maybe, if you don't know exactly what you, you're looking for, it's a little bit hard to find it. So I'm going to show you all of the power supplies that I commonly use. So we have a blank design. We'll go up here and go to components and the library shows up. So right now I'm in what's called a basic group and this is where you'll find your resistors, capacitors, inductors. But we're going to go to sources. So the one you'd probably use first in circuits class is this uh, 12 volt voltage supply. And its corresponding DC current is located in the signal current sources folder. It's right there. Okay, and um, here is the alternating current. So it's in signal current sources, AC current. And then there are two types of AC voltage supplies that I'll show you, VPeak and VRMS. So in power sources, AC power, here is the VRMS, and then here is the VPeak. So I just went down to signal voltage sources and went to AC voltage. So um, you might know a little bit about the relationship between VRMS and VPeak, but I'll just make the VPeak and the VRMS equivalent. So we'll just go over here. Or close to equivalent. I mean, I, oops. Sorry about that. And then we'll go down here, change that to 60. Everything should be the same. Well, we might just offset it by degrees. Okay, so you can see, oh one last thing, sometimes when you, if you don't click on the whole, if you don't click on the whole component, you can't change the properties, so it has to be the whole component to change it. 